good morning and welcome to a very hopefully what will be a very cozy autumnal weekend vlog charlie and i left the house bright and early this morning actually not so bright it was pretty it's much quite dark. it was quite dark when we left this morning it's now um 7 45 and we are about to cross the chelsea bridge we're leaving london for the weekend and we're going to soho farmhouse charlie and i have had soho house membership for uh, six months now or so? Yeah, six months. Yeah, and we've been really making the most of it. We went to the Soho House in Istanbul, uh, the Dumbo House in Brooklyn, and now we are going, this is our first time going to Soho Farmhouse as guests, not as in like normal, no, normal hotel guests because we've been there with brands before, I've been there with Origins, um, Charlie and I have been there together with a vitamin drink brand. That was about a year ago, wasn't it? I think that was longer than a year ago probably. Yeah, so we've not been in quite some time, but this is the absolute perfect time of year to go because we're really lucky. It's a gorgeous weather weekend, blue skies, crisp, frosty mornings. And also this is our first road trip of the autumn in our lovely Mazda CX-5. So this morning actually we've been making the most of all of the warming gadgets inside. Charlie's got the heated steering wheel on, I've got my heated seat on full blast. We've got the temperature set to a very ambient 22 degrees in the car and we're about to make the or we're embarking on our two hour drive. We've got the sat nav set up. It's going to take us just under two hours to get there. You can't see it but the thing I love the most is this little projected screen here in the windscreen it comes out of here yeah it almost looks like of the road. when you're driving the car you won't be able to see on camera but basically there's like a projection that projected onto the road it shows you the speed of the road so this road would have a little 30 next to it and it tells you your speed so it's really good at keeping you under the speed limit it's also got lane assist so obviously if you're going a little bit out of your lane then little yellow lines will appear and it will just kind of gently nudge you back into your lane and also on the wing mirrors, this is just some of the technology that we find absolutely amazing, this little yellow car emoji kind of comes up on the corner of the mirror and that it means beeps. that, yeah, and it just subtly beeps at you and that means that someone's in your blind spot. We always joke amongst ourselves that it's a little bit tragic how in love we are with this car, but if you were to drive it yourself, you would totally understand why. And also, I read that there's a Japanese expression which seems quite fitting, because I'm pretty sure Mazda is a Japanese car brand called Jinba Itai, and that is the feeling of oneness and connection between a car and its driver. And I would say that we definitely do you feel Jinba Itai right now. I feel at one. Yeah, I do. I just <laughs> feel need a at coffee. one with the car. <laughs> only had a coffee machine in built. Yes, if Mazda could put an espresso, an espresso machine, espresso in, machine in, the car, in the dashboard, <laughs> then it would be absolutely perfect. <laughs> but Charlie and I have both driven many cars before with cars that we've owned or borrowed and I would say that this is the most pleasurable driving experience. And, and yeah. just couldn't be more perfect with having two dogs, lots of bags, Yes. rugby kit, gym kit. It's yeah, ideal. it's just perfect for our lifestyle. Despite the fact that we live in London, obviously it's quite a big car. It's called a family size SUV or a mid size SUV, <coughs> but it doesn't feel it's not hard to park as I showed you in my last video, which was my last video that I did for Master, which was my guide to photography where I was zipping in and out little parking spaces in London. I wasn't before this car a terribly confident driver. With all but, the technology though, with the yeah. reversing technology, like the cameras. Yeah it's as easy to park, it's easier to park than a smart car because you don't have that with a smart car. Yeah. Basically, we're in love with it and very much looking forward to two hours of driving fun. <laughs> Because we thought you loved us. No, mommy's not going anywhere, you needy little boys. You see, safety first, we've got our car seat belts on. You look so concerned. I'm gonna have to give my sweetest boy a kiss. You see, we have to stop on these road trips just to give our boys some extra kisses. It's okay, Dexie, we've got about half an hour, and then we'll be in the countryside. You promised me first class. This is first class. We've got the best seat in the house. We've got puppy seat belts, you see. We travel in safety and in style.
Okay, so we've just got to our room or our cabin, I should say, at the farmhouse. We had to wait until four o'clock to check in. So Charlie and I just spent the past, well, pretty much most of the day exploring. We went for a really nice long dog walk, um, just looked around the whole farmhouse property. I had a mac and cheese. We had avocado and toast for breakfast. Not at the same time, breakfast and then <laughs> mac and cheese a bit later. And we've been doing quite a lot of work, so we've had a very productive afternoon, but now it's time to chill. But I have to give you, I know you're not technically allowed to, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour of our cabin. So I originally <laughs> So I originally booked a normal cabin, but because we had the dogs, we got bumped up to a large studio cabin. So let me whiz outside because it looks really cute on the outside and give you the grand tour. Okay, so this is our little entry area and it's pretty much the pantry. We've got a nice freshly baked loaf of bread, some farmhouse granola, all important espresso machine, little oven microwave, got all the cute Soho farmhouse crockery, milk, sugar, tea, biscuits, all of that fun stuff up there. Then we've got the liquor cupboard in here, which let's be honest, we're probably not gonna touch, but nice to have. And then chilled drink section, very snazzy. I love how they make a modern fridge look so old school. And then down here is the chilled drinks and we've got butter and cheese in there. What do you think, Dexy? Can you smell the cheese? I also love this mini Belfast sink. This is so, so beautiful. So as we go in here, we have got two very relaxed Hello, boys. Hello, my name is Dickens and I'm the butler for the weekend. Every cabin comes with its own personal sausage dog. That likes to wee everywhere. All I do is wee here, but I can cuddle you if you like. Careful. Is he doing a good job so far? A terrible job. Yes, I don't do any work. I live a well, life of luxury. Like bonfires now. <laughs> so we've got this gorgeous big coffee table. I mean, it's really old school and farmhouse chic, but it's got all the mod cons. We've got a big TV, a chimney, chimney fireplace ready to be lit. Got the matches, a little table with toilet roll on because naturally, as soon as we arrived, Dexy and Dicky both decided to go for a wee, which is very naughty. <laughs> we've got these cute little doggy areas, which my boys will make themselves at home in. They're little dog bowls. This is so sweet. Look at this gorgeous autumn lighting. Our very own balcony with rocking chairs, breakfast table, beautiful view. And it goes all the way around here. Nice little sofa. And then, up here is the boudoir area. Really nice to have like a double tiered section. So this is the doggy area and this is our area. Little dressing table and then wardrobe, full length mirror. I can show you my outfit of the day. So I'm wearing my little Topshop satin skirt, cozy jumper, faux fur, gilet, couple of necklaces and my little Chloe boots. My legs look very pale in this lighting, but I have fake tan, I promise. Um, okay, and then through here is a really, really cute bathroom. Marble double sink area with cow shed products, very nice. All the little minis, beautiful bathtub. I'll be having a soak later on. And then the toilette is in there. Robes and nice big shower. So that is our amazing cabin. I wish we were here for two nights, but we're only here for one. Um, so we have got healing yoga at six o'clock, which is in about two hours time. So we're gonna do a little bit of unpacking, pop on our yoga kit, and then make our way over to the studio. Okay, so I've just come down to the kind of fitness, wellness, gym and spa area um, and I'm going to do some healing yoga. Charlie was booked in as well but his back has been hurting quite a lot lately so it's just me. So I've come down to the changing rooms and 
and I'm probably just going to have a little look around the spa, maybe do some stretching in the gym and then head to yoga. Back from yoga and it was a very zen healing yoga session. Um, not too many crazy positions, more just like breathing and stretching, which was really nice. But <laughs> everything, every zen that I managed to, hello chicken, to create during the yoga session was very swiftly undone when I locked myself in one of the changing rooms downstairs in the gym. It was very embarrassing, even though I was locking and unlocking the door, the latch was um, caught and a guy had to go and get, it's like a communal changing room, I wasn't in the men's, a guy had to go and get a member of staff, but just as they arrived, I managed to undo it. So that was a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> and then I didn't even tell you this, Char, when we were getting the bike, or when I was riding the bike back to the cabin, my eyes are not very good in the dark, so a few times I nearly fell off because I was <laughs> picky, <laughs> so worried that I was going to fall into the lake because I couldn't see where I was going. And then when we got back to the, I keep saying we, when I got back to the cabin, Charlie lit the fire, he was in the bath, and I had some cuddles with my boys. And now we appear to have a bit of a wasp infestation. There is a giant queen wasp buzzing about. And I'm a little bit wary to leave the boys while we go for dinner because I feel like if this one heard a wasp, he might try and attack it, which would not be good. So hopefully Charlie will swat it before we go out for dinner. But it's 20 to 8, I'm feeling peckish, so I think we're gonna get cracking. You enjoying being on camera? Oh my boy, Charlotte. Uh. <laughs> this bed's big enough for four of us, you see. This bed's big enough for four. That's my pajamas, Dickie. Please leave them alone. Okay, so we've decided that we're going to get room service because Charlie's back's not too good and he doesn't fancy going out for dinner. So I'm going to have a bit of a pamper. I'm going to take off my makeup um, and show you my evening routine because it's been quite a long time since I did any kind of evening routine. Obviously, I only have what's in my makeup bag, but it's overflowing. <laughs> so this may not be my normal evening routine. In fact, it won't be, but I can still show you what I'm going to do. Annoyingly, I forgot to bring my reusable cotton pads, so I'm going to have to use disposable cotton pads, but we mustn't beat ourselves up too much. So I always start by removing the day's makeup with a micellar water. This one is my trusty mini Garnier. Oh, and by the way, today I used a new, well, I don't know if it's new actually, but it's new to me, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Fresh Wear. And I was very impressed with how glowy my skin looked all day. So I might start using that on a daily basis. Always nice when you discover an affordable, really nice foundation. Okay, so luckily I've got my Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm in my travel makeup bag. So, probably be the last time I get to use this. It's about to run out. But luckily I have the Elemis Christmas Advent Calendar. So at least after Christmas I should have a new travel mini size. And this is just super luxurious feeling on the skin. Really kind of silky and balmy. So nice at this time of year. I like to give myself a bit of a facial massage. And obviously the Elemis Pro Collagen range is really good for anti-aging nourishing the skin and generally just bringing back that youthful glow okay so i've patted my face dry feeling good and now i'm going to use a little bit of clarins double serum which you can use day and night and again this is really good for anti-aging um my skin just seems to love this especially at this time of year. I've still got the old one, but the new one has got turmeric in there as well, which is really good for anti-inflammatory. Good in your diet and great on your skin. 
Luckily, I have my full Elemis peptide range because this is such a handy size for in my travel bag. So I've got my eye cream, eye recovery cream, um, night recovery cream oil and my lip balm. So I'm gonna start with the eye cream. This range is particularly good for anyone concerned with those first signs, God, I look so shiny, um, first signs of aging. So if like me, you're in your mid 20s, then this is great. If maybe you don't have those first signs of aging, but you absolutely don't want them to appear. So I pop a little bit of that on. Ever since getting my brace, a really good lip balm is so important. And this one is just super hydrating. Ultra conditioning lip balm from Elemis. And then this is a little mini of the peptide range cream, night recovery cream oil. So if you really like the feeling of a cream but your skin craves the nourishment of an oil, then this is a really nice combination. Um, some people don't like the feeling of an oil on their skin. I personally do, but this is just the best of both. Really nourishing, anti-aging, or prevents the signs of aging. Take that down my neck. And that is my travel evening skincare routine. So hopefully our food is not going to be too far away. And then Charlie and I are going to carry on watching the Da Vinci Code. And I will see you in the morning. Room service has arrived. I've got a parsnip and carrot soup. Sourdough left in the room. Charlie's got fruit salad and a Greek yogurt because he's a little bit poorly. Chips. Although Charlie ate the ketchup earlier, so I'm not impressed. <laughs> and a beetroot salad. We're both in our um, Star Wars dressing gowns. You said you're on fire. I am. Party? Party? Cool that sounds. Cool that sounds. <laughs> God, we're sad. Yeah.